The disposition of the land in Mkambati in 1951 cost the community a lot. Dairy farms, post office buildings and schools were some of the valuables that were lost in the process. All this to make way for a hospital after the outbreak of leprosy in the area. More than 70 years later, the community is compensated. We lost school, which was around here in this precinct. Um, we lost uh, some buildings, which were for um, post office and some uh, some of the places where milk, uh, dairy milk was uh, was uh, prepared. Yes, and uh, cattle, which were also feeding the hospital. National government joined the community in celebrating the settlement. We acknowledge that individuals, communities and some of the institutions who were affected by discriminatory law in terms of their land disposition, if they apply for um, the, you know, through the land claim process for the return of their land or any alternative award that is accepted in terms of the restitution act, they can do so. So the Anglican Church, actually, this is not the first claim we are resolving of the uh, Anglican Church. The first land claim of the Anglican Church was Christ the King in Sophia Town. On top of the settlement, locals also received farming equipment from the department. Learners from four local schools were also given school bags. Residents want the settlement money to be used in the betterment of the less fortunate. I so wish even the church must look after the orphans, not only the orphans from the church, the orphans at Inguza area. The missionaries, Dr. Drew, went all the way from Holy Cross to Mkambat looking for, for this land and now we, 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 we've got our, our land back. The Anglican Church aims to use the money to improve the lives of local people. Fundisom Sekute SABC News, Holy Cross, Flagstaff.